Henry and Munch, and The Long Weekend. Henry and Munch, Wet Yuck. Henry and Henry's big dog Munch woke up one Saturday in February and looked outside. Yuck, said Henry. It was gray, it was cold, it was muddy and wet. No sun, Henry said. No snow, just yuck. Wet yuck. Mudge leaned against Henry and drooled. What are we going to do all weekend? Henry asked. Mudge leaned harder. How will we have some fun? Henry grumbled. Mudge leaned harder still. What a boring weekend, Henry growled. Mudge let go and leaned all the way. Wow, yelled Henry. Mudge flattened Henry like a pancake. How are we going to get up? Henry wondered. Bored. Henry and Mudge had a boring breakfast. They watched some boring cartoons. They listened to Henry's father tell some boring jokes. Boy, is this boring, said Henry. What are we going to do? He asked. Mudge knew what to do. Mudge always knew what to do. If there was nothing interesting to eat, nothing interesting to smell, and nothing interesting to chew, he went to sleep. No, Mudge, said Henry, giving him a push. Wake up! Mudge sat up. He wanted to stay awake. He tried to stay awake, but everything was so boring that he couldn't. His eyes kept closing. His head kept nodding. His mouth kept drooling. Exciting dog you have there, said Henry's father. He's bored, said Henry. Mudge is bored. I'm bored. Boy, is this boring. Henry's father frowned. February cranks, he asked. Henry nodded. Winter grumpies? Henry nodded again. Pre-spring meanies? Okay, Dad, okay, Henry said. Boy, are you bored, said Henry's father. The three of them sat. Their eyes kept closing, their heads kept nodding, and one of their mouths kept drooling. Henry's mother saw them. Goodness, she said, this is going to be a long weekend. Then she had an idea. The idea. I have an idea, Henry's mother said. Henry opened his eyes. Henry's father sat up, but Mudge kept on sleeping. He didn't care much about ideas, not until the ideas smelled like something. Let's make a castle, said Henry's mother. A castle, said Henry and Henry's father. We still have the box. The new refrigerator came in and the box. The new stove came in. Henry was getting the idea. And that paint set Uncle Arthur gave me, said Henry. Let's do it. They headed for the basement. Mudge was still trying to sleep, but when he heard voices in the basement, he woke up fast. Mudge loved the basement. It had millions of new smells. It had lots of places to hide, and some of his old dog toys were down there. Come on, Mudge, Henry called, but Mudge was already on his way. Down in the basement. It has to have turrets. Henry's father said, and a drawbridge, and buttresses, and flags. Dad, said Henry, it's just a refrigerator box. Not for long, said Henry's father. Henry ran upstairs for his castle book. Henry's mother ran upstairs for pencils. Henry's father ran upstairs for a stapler. And Mudge ran upstairs for a quick snack. They all looked at each other in the kitchen. How do we all get up here again? asked Henry's father. When they got back to the basement, Henry opened up his castle book. Let's make this one, he said. Henry's father took a look. Henry's mother took a look. Okay, they said. One of them drew, one of them cut, one of them stapled, and one of them went looking for an old boot he used to chew. They all worked a long time until somebody said, Is anyone hungry? Order a pizza, said Henry's father. We can't stop now. 
They worked a while longer until the pizza came. And then they stopped and ate pizza while they stared at the castle they were building. They each imagined how it would look like when it was done. For the rest of the afternoon, they cut out fancy windows and fancy doors. They cut out turrets and buttresses and flags. Mudge chewed his old boot like crazy. When evening came and Henry finally had to crawl into bed, he could hardly wait to finish the castle. He could hardly wait for more of the long weekend. A great weekend. Henry woke up. He looked outside. Wet yuck, he said. But he didn't care. We have a castle to finish, he told Mudge. Henry and Henry's father ate some cold cereal and ran to the basement. Henry's mother stayed in the kitchen to read the morning paper. She was always better at thinking of ideas than at finishing them. Besides, she said, you have to have somebody to surprise. Henry's and Henry's father painted the castle all morning. While they work, Mudge sniffed screwdrivers and paint cans and dirty rags and beach balls and Christmas decorations and a stuffed turkey. He also tried to eat a spider, but he missed. Henry and Henry's father were very quiet. They wanted to pay attention. They wanted to do a good job. Every now and then, Henry's mother would call out, Is there a life down there? Finally, close to lunchtime, Henry looked at his father. His father looked at him. Wow, they both said. Come look, come look. They called up the stairs. Henry's mother went to the top of the stairs. Not yet, not yet, they called. She waited. Okay, okay, they called. She went down the stairs, and there she saw the most beautiful castle and the most beautiful knights and the most beautiful king she'd ever seen. They all spent a long time admiring the castle. They took turns sitting in it. They stuck their heads through its windows. They opened and closed its doors. They lowered its drawbridge over and over. Henry was thrilled. He gave his parents a big hug. He gave Mudge a big hug. What a weekend, said Henry. The king gave him a big lick. And what a great king.